All right, guys, so pick it up where we left off. Basically, we've got our main storyboard configured, we've got our view controller configured, and we've got our custom cell configured as well. If you're not to this point, go back to part one, where you'll see kind of how we set this up, and we are gonna progress forward here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our tutorial assets, which in this case, we're just basically gonna have four images that uh, I pulled down four different images off today's awesome sauce, which is pretty sweet. And you'll see basically we've got a 45 degree, 45 degree, I don't know, that's like a 35 and then an upside down. Basically I just wanted four different angles of this thing so you guys could see I'm not using the same thing and it's just like recreating. So I'm going to select all four of these and you'll see that I've named them one, two, three, which is going to make it a little bit easier as we uh, we go to make our our array for these different items so make sure that we're copying the items into the destination groups folder and we're adding them to the target as well once you've got those two selected go ahead and click finish and you'll see that uh, now they are part of our project here so you can click on them here you can see what they are and they'll display in the middle of the screen there so now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to go into our control, or, uh, sorry, our collection view controller dot m, and uh, we're going to go ahead and import our custom cell. We're going to do that by putting in the pound sign import, and we're going to define this by putting in the collection header. And if I could spell anything, it would uh, be something like that. So it'd be collection cell dot h with the uh, quotation marks around it. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to uh, basically tell our collection view in that collection cell that we want an image there and uh, we want it to be filled with uh, basically the four images that we've put inside of our project there. All right. So now that uh, we've got our import collection cell dot age, we need to define our array. And if you don't, guys don't know what an array is, an array is basically a collection of images, or not images, it's a collection of different items. Whether it's ordered or unordered, it uh, allows us to call those different items. And so we're going to do that by, uh, within the interface here, we're going to put in our curly braces, and we're going to put in NS array, and we're going to point it to, or we'll just call this array collection images. All right, don't forget your semicolon at the end there. Now as you scroll down, we have to define a, what is in this array now. So we're gonna go to the view did load and uh, we're gonna go right before the super view did load. And within this, we're gonna basically call our array. So our array collection images, and now we're gonna set it equal to, and in this case, it's gonna be NS array, and we're gonna allocate so we're going to put NS array alloc and then just after that we'll put in it with and as you see it already defaults to in it with objects which is going to be correct in this case in it with objects and now we're going to define what images we want to basically be associated with this array and so we're going to put in our uh, at sign which is basically a string telling what uh, what to look for we're gonna put one dot png, follow that out with a quotation mark to end that. Our second image that we want to assign to this is gonna be obviously two dot png, and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna copy this to make it a little bit, a uh, little bit more painless. And lastly, so we've got four. So I'm gonna take out that, put three, take out this, put four. And the last thing is just basically ending it with nil. Don't forget a final comma there to end it and the semicolon all right so basically we've we've basically established an array up here and then we've told this array that we want to allocate and initiate with these different objects within the array so we have four different objects ending it and uh, so now we got to go into defining our collection view so we've got these four images that we want now we're going to go on to uh, right after the view did low we're going to give us a little bit of room a little bit of room and we're going to call two different methods for this UI collection view now typically with a you know a standard table view you just write like table view 
and you'll see these different methods come up. In this case, we're going to be putting in a collection view, and you'll see the different methods that are associated with the collection view there. So the first one that we're going to be looking for is a cell for item at index path. All right, so you'll see this UI collection view cell, and we get down to here for cell for item at index path. And there's basically two different methods that uh, we have to have in order for this collection view to work. And I'll show you how to get to those here in the future here. So we're going to establish um, that method there, put in some curly braces, and we won't fill that one out uh, to its entirety yet. And the next method we need is basically a uh, number of items in a section. All right, and this is the second required method that we need for the collection view. And so as you scroll down, you'll see that uh, we have this method here, which number of items in section. So if you go ahead and double click that and uh, go ahead and add, add some brackets there. And so this basically is going to ask our array how many, how many different items are going to be in here, or how many different items do you want in this section. So we can define it as return one, we're going to define it as return two, or so on and so forth. But we never know how long this array is without having to manually count. Because let's say this uh, this array is a hundred different items, and uh, somebody goes and add, they add like let's say ten items. Well, then they'd have to come down here and they'd have to add, you know basically put return one hundred and ten every time they update that. Well, there's a little shortcut that we can do, and basically we can say we want to return the array collection images count and uh, so basically it's saying hey uh, how many well let me uh, screw that suck and what the heck did I do okay there we go so then basically it's saying how many different items are in this array count them and return them so in this case our program is looking at the array array collection images count and uh, so it comes up here and it goes hey we've got one two three four four total alright so then you never have to update this if it's just based on this array this particular array here it's a little bit of a shortcut for you guys so now we go back to this uh, cell for item at index path because now we have to define what we want to see how we want to see it and uh, display it on screen so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to call our collection and if I could spell what the so we're gonna put in there basically our collection cell which this is coming from our collection cell that we created here our specified class for that particular cell and we'll just call this cell and uh, we'll collection view DQ reusable cell with a reusable reuse identifier and this is when we went in there and we we basically identified that cell and we told it hey we want to uh, use this template and we want to reuse it as our program develops and we have more items to show so in this case we named it if you guys don't remember right reuse ID and I'm gonna go back just to refresh your memory so you see the reusable cell with reuse reuse identifier if you go back to your storyboard and we'll zoom in here we went to this collection view got our doc over here you'll see that uh, we didn't define this Wow so click your, your uh, collection cell we're gonna put in a reuse identifier so we're just gonna call it reuse ID and we'll click off of it all right so uh, that's good because uh, we would have had a problem there so we're going to go back to our collection view controller and so that's for the reuse ID then we come for index path and we're simply going to put index path in here and you'll see why that takes place later so we should be able to uh, continue on here okay so it looks like we have an error and we might have forgotten forgot an equal sign in there alright so now that we have that equal sign in there we're going to define that cell we're basically going to tell it where and how to find those images that we have within a project and we're not gonna put just cell we're gonna put in some a uh, some brackets and we're gonna tell that cell that uh, basically the collection image view is gonna be where we want it to put those images and we want to set the image to well 
let's go ahead and define that but we want to set the image to put a bracket there to our UI image image named all right in this case it's gonna be our array array collection images and then we're gonna tell the array that we're gonna have the object at index according to our index path probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense now but it sure will all right so we're gonna have a few brackets it looks like we've got some kind of error here which we're gonna quickly diagnose all right so it looks like the one thing I missed here is the index path dot item all right and it looks like we've misspelled image to imaged so we're gonna take out the D and we should be good there last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna return that cell so we can repeat that on screen as we see so now once you get to this point you should be good to go so let's go ahead and run it and see what our our application looks like now all right so what you see in the screen is basically our grid view with our four arrayed images that we have within our application we've got one two three and four and you see they're nicely spaced be between based on well actually based on the images or the uh basically the size here so if we were to reduce that we could have probably fit four on the top screen without any problem but uh, it basically configures it very nicely. So that is an introduction to the collection view and how that actually interacts and how to set that up. We will be probably going into some more of the advanced. You can obviously see how there's a lot of complexity with the collection view and how that interacts with your actual application. So a lot of sweet stuff you can do with it. And we will continue forward with that. All right, we'll catch you guys later.